Hello everybody, how's it going? Jonathan here, Automate with Jonathan. In this video, I'm going to show you how to click a link when when there's no class name or ID given. So this is an email. This is a question I just got in an email, uh, and I invite you guys to send me your use cases. If you can't figure it out, just email me, and um, maybe I'll make a video about it. But my email is right here. It's c i a c c i o j o n at gmail dot com. Send me an email there and let me know. And please be sure to uh, subscribe because I'm trying to get to a thousand subs as soon as I can. So let's, let me get right into it. So here is how you you can click a link if there's no class name or no ID. So I use this piece of software here. It's called XPath Finder. Okay, XPath Finder. Oh, it's already here. Um, I'm going to put it in the description of this video, and it's a Chrome plugin. And what this Chrome plugin does is it it automatically gives you the XPath, which to me um, is a real time saver because I don't want to deal. I, learning XPath was just something I didn't I didn't really feel like doing at, at the at that time, but now I know XPath, and um, and this this plugin gives you the precise X XPath of each item. So if you're just looking for a one-off situation, uh, it's great. So let me show you how, how to use it. So after you install it, you go to the website in question. So this is the website and say I want to click this link here and I don't know the ID, I don't know the class name. Uh, what what XPath Finder does is it, it when you click this button, it turns this into a little crosshair and then that crosshair, once you click on something, down here in the bottom left, it, it gives you the exact X path, which is this. And you just paste it in here, and now you have the X path for, that, for the link in question. So now we're going to create the, this element called no class or ID link. Set it equal to driver, and the driver's already opened the web page. Driver.find element lowercase by equals uppercase b y dot x path and then we pass in the value of the x path value equals quote unquote the the x path that we got here and then we do no class or id link which is the name of, that we named the element and we did dot click so let's run it It's gonna wait to load fully, run it, and click it. And it clicked it. Click this button here. So that's how you use. That's how you get the. Uh, that's how you click a link when there's no class name or ID. Please subscribe because I'm trying to get to a thousand subs, ASAP. Thank you so much for watching. Oh yeah, and here's my email too. If you uh, if you want to send me your use case, and I'll make a video about it. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye bye.